I like a lot about my job. It's a strategic role where I get to work both on a project level, supporting the technical specialists um, in ensuring that their particular expert areas um, are influencing and being taken into consideration in projects, whether that be biodiversities, commercial fisheries, strategic compensation. Um, but I also get that opportunity to see the bigger picture. Um, so not looking just at individual projects, but looking at a portfolio, looking at a region, you know, how do we make all of these pieces of a puzzle fit together? Another part of my role is working with those outside of Orsted to understand their concerns and overcome any challenges, but also to look for opportunities for collaboration. So that includes industry groups, regulatory bodies, statutory nature conservation bodies, and many others. It's a joint effort. You know, we've had a lot of growth in the last 10 years. Um, and I think what really excites me is the fact that I see the opportunities for the growth in the next 10 years. You know, the scale of the projects from 10 years ago to now, um, you know, they've dramatically changed um, and they continue to grow. Uh, so I did a um, bachelor in biological sciences, um, which was a really broad degree, actually. It was all the way from being in the lab um, to being out on a boat looking at marine mammals. Uh, it, it was really varied and everything in between. Um, as part of that, I did a year abroad, um, which was one opportunity that I took to perhaps specialize into marine science. Um, and then I did a master's degree in international marine environmental consultancy. Uh, and that was primarily to try and bridge a gap between sort of the academic view of some of you know, these activities into perhaps something that was more clearly applicable to a to a role which is what that master's gave me i'm proud of a lot of things actually that i've done in my career which is a really nice thing to be able to say um, i think one of the things that i'm most proud of is being part of the team uh, within orsted that supported the market entries into scotland um, and more recently into ireland um, so one of the things that really drives me is the growth of the offshore wind sector um, it's been fantastic that the uk and ireland have been a leader in offshore wind but there's so much potential still out there, both in the UK and Ireland, but also globally. Um, so I think that sort of opportunity to be part of a team that drove sort of expansion of an offshore wind developer into new markets was really exciting. You know, particularly in my current role, there are um, my peers in other regions, in other locations. Um, and what's really nice is there's so much opportunity to learn. Um, you know, each of us are working in different regulatory regimes, different with different legislation. We're working on different projects, different locations, but there are some similarities and there are some differences. And what's really nice is we can learn from each other on both of those. Um, so where there are similarities, you know, markets that are perhaps a bit more established can help share that knowledge across to new markets. Um, but also where there's, you know, other markets that are coming across new challenges, new barriers to growth, they can share that knowledge back with us and we can work together to find um, you know, a solution that perhaps would enable the deployment globally. You know, I have a team of wonderful people um, who have their technical expertise. Um, and I see my role is about helping to lead that team, see what is important for the business, what's important for the industry, um, but also about what's important for them. Um, you know, and ensuring that they are given opportunities to develop both personally and professionally um, and also given the opportunity to input into projects um, and have their advice taken on board. If I were to give some advice to someone starting out in their career, I think the first one would be about um, being open to opportunities. There's no one way to move into offshore wind, um, particularly in the consenting phase. Um, and I think it's about taking opportunities when they come um, and taking the opportunity to learn. And then the second one would be to uh, not be scared to fail. Um, you know, every failure will lead to learnings um, and there's a lot of ways to succeed, but there's also a lot of ways to take any failures and uh, turn them into development um, opportunities. And it's about having that mindset of growth um, and, and really just enjoying the ride.